Hey, what's up? Welcome to Elvis and Trains. Today I'm gonna to be doing a de another dead mall video. This is Westmount Shopping Center. A lot of people call this Westmount Mall. And I rem and look at this video where like I did the elegant mall. And here I'm gonna like walk around this floor and there's like another floor, but like it's not it's a non-retail floor. This floor, like there's not many retail on this floor. So that's why this mall is dead. So I'm going to look around and we're going to walk around, see what happened to this mall. I think this mall, like, it used to have, like, maybe, like, 120 stores, something like that, when the mall opened. And then it was, like, so, like, a bustling mall. It was, like, White Oak Small, Masonville Mall. And now just look at it. There's some offices here. And over there used to be a Target store. And that Target store, I think I filmed that Target store, like, like, I mean, the first time I tried to film in, like, I was, like, going into the Target store, like, trying to, like, film in there, and I, I got caught, like, by security, like, and the second time, I just filmed the outside of it, and you see the international news, it's a pretty common location there, and it's not closed. Which is, I'm feeling so relieved because, like, that's, like, a candy store. And the Zally's, it's only open, like, a few hours in the day and it closes. And the store's abandoned. The rug collection was always there. And this is where the abandoned Target is. Hopefully I can get inside this time. I might, like, just do, like, another video. Hope I don't get caught in this one. And it's locked. So emergency exit and um there's another closed down store and we're gonna go to the cash okay guys this is like there's like a road store so like this retail spot is like going good like there's only just one closed store on in this spot there one shut down abandoned store there's strokes which is like a dish place something like that the art center which isn't much of a store carlton cards and wireless plus which is like a phone fix store and there's like some jewelry like stand here and la tika is a, a clothing store and it says over there i'm going to show you what it says over there it says sale 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 and i think what they're doing here i don't know that i think that's how most stores closed in this mall and the Tim Hortons, which is always bustling. Ball Barrel, the Bell Store. And the Chocolate Place, which was originally here, but like it closed down like a month ago. And I watched out Ace Adventures out for um, filming this mall like in May. He filmed, filmed this mall too. An abandoned store, the people's store, a Bentley store. I don't know if they have like different locations or it's like just a funny location. There's a bunch of suitcases here. And this is a, a jewelry store here, like a necklace ring store. And over there is the, um, the hair store. And there's another one right there. And this used to be, I don't know what the store used to be, but it closed like a week ago and it's like I'm gonna try to look inside for you guys like see like the counters there it's all shut off everything's turned off the every all the shelves are gone and this is the art store like this is like a, a go Vinda galleries Sears Shamik echo and hair mug boards looks like this store is getting ready to close because it says clearance 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 sale and there's like not much on the shelves and it looks so open and the dollar store with more and there's a sears here where i go check that out in a minute okay so i just got into the sears and it's literally pretty dead. 
the Sears is the deadest is a dead retail and it's like it's like not many stores in here and this is the only surviving Sears in London Ontario at all like there's not many customers here it's just mostly like employees and everybody here so I'm just going up the escalator I try to reveal myself in all my videos, but like it's hard to do with an iPhone. Like just like turn it because I don't know which way the camera's like facing when I don't have it on my screen. So the top floor I just got to. We're making changes for a better Sears. I don't know if the Sears is ever gonna close. Like this is the last Sears of London. So uh, this is the dead retail. Like the store, Sears closed at Masonville Mall. Sears closed uh, at another mall. I don't know the name of, I, I assume it's dead too. So I might like make a video there in the future. I've never been to that mall before. Pick up something, I don't know. Mar, mar, merchandise pickup. All these demo beds here. And I think these doll figures, I could like have one of those. Yeah. I remember shopping at the mall like with my grandma. My grandma, like, we always used to like go to Sears, and there even was a Zellers here. And then we went to that Zellers, and, um, it was like, and then I turned into Target and I shopped there and there was like not much stock on the shelves, which was like why Target failed in Canada. Because their stocking system was wrong. They moved in too fast. They really were so excited to like try to go to Canada, but like there was like a lot of problems, issues they had, like losing money. The prices were high and they were just exactly the same as Canada. So I'm just about to walk out of Sears right now. Over here is a uh, Carter's Babies and Kids. Osh, Kosh, Big Osh. This is a baby store here. I always went to the, I went to this baby store when I was a kid. Just about to go on the elevator. And Diesel, Daisy, and Jareems, if you were watching, I did a video on this elevator. I was in all of your malfunction there. I'm so glad I didn't like it crunched or something. Okay guys, so that's the elevators of the mall here. I'm now exploring the top floor, which is a totally non-retail. There's the Target uh, labels over there. They still have all that Target texture and everything on on the small, I thought they would have taken all that down, but they still have all that target texture. So most of you that watch Ace Adventures, um, you, I'm sure you all subscribe to him, everything. Um, and this mall is like, he filmed this mall, so I'm gonna shout him out for doing that. And you see, like, there, even when when the mall was popular, it was, like, retail up here. Like, all the lights were, like, turned on up there. But they, like, turned them on only, like, once a year for, like, Christmas events and stuff. So. There's the Kumin, uh place. And you're, I'm going to show you, there's like another section of the mall, which also like every part of like wherever a store can go, there's like three stores can go in there and then that part is all full.
So, this is where Target was. Yep, so when this was a Zellers, there used to be like, there used to be like doors and all that stuff, like the Sears, way over there. And watch where I ring the elevator alarm. <laughs> all right, I'm just about to go to like where the other part of the mall I was talking about, about which is over there. And there's even, Another place here, which is Cineplex. I don't know if that's gonna be supposed to be like part of the mall though, but like it used to be like attached to the mall. Like this part where it used to be like all mall here, but they like tore the mall down. Like this part of the mall down, they tore it down. So like that's the most popular spot of the mall. Like those that there's like a lot of cars in that spot. This used to mall used to be bustling. Okay, so here's the other part of the mall. The store might be getting ready to close. I mean, like, I don't know if it's like closed for the night or something, but like, it says limited time, like 70% off, something like that. So I think the store is about to close for good. The store here, I don't know what's happening in the store. Urban Planet, it's still on. Three for $10, no thanks. And this is like the Chinese store I'm talking about. Ooh, look at all this cool food. It's like, it's like a lot of Canadian food, but treated like a Chinese store. And this is where the seafood is. where the seafood is. Oh man, <laughs> they really could have had one of those. Am I buying anything? No thanks. All the cash registers are empty. By the way, this used to be a metro here, which is not anymore. Out the door I go. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Smash that like button for more videos and smash that subscribe button. I want to reach 100 subscribers. Then I'm going to tell you my Instagram and I'll tell you my Snapchat. So good luck and see you next time.